This is SSP TV News, brought to you by Samsung Productions and the Hazelton Standard Speaker. The melody of the summer is about to hit Beaver Meadows, and you're invited to come enjoy the beat. After another rainy day, thanks for joining us here at SSP TV News, available on the air online and on the Samsung Productions app. I'm Ken Carr, and here's your local information from SSP TV and the Hazelton Standard Speaker. A popular tradition kicks off this weekend in Beaver Meadows. Lisa Sugart has all the details. Today I'm here at Smith Floral in West Hazleton with owner Jennifer Barnasevich, but today she's putting on her different hat. Yes. It's for the Beaver Meadows uh, Citizens for Recreation, and the concerts in the park start this Sunday. Yes, I can't believe it. Wow. Yes. You told me this yeah. is how many years? This is our 12th season. Wow. Yes. Yep. So, who kicks off the concerts? Our first concert this Sunday is from 6 to 8 o'clock with the Irish Lads. And for people who have never been to the concert in the park before, where exactly is it? It is at Memorial Park on Church Street in Beaver Meadows. And everybody's invited. It's free, open to the public. Mm -hmm. It's a free concert. Just bring a blanket or a chair and <laughs> sit in the park and enjoy the music. Uh, the Citizens for Recreation, uh, we, will, we do have refreshments, hot dogs, hamburgers, things of that nature. Uh, so you can have supper too. And it's just, it's a really nice way to wind down your weekend. All right, so this weekend, 6 to 8, the Irish Lads. Mm -hmm. Then you have one, two, three, four, four more weeks, yes. weekends, I guess, or yes. days of mm -hmm. concerts. So tell us about that. Yeah, we try to space them every other week. That way, in case we get a little inclement weather, <laughs> uh, you know, we have a buffer week. So we have the Bees Knees playing their 60s and 70s, and then we also have the polka band, which are the Swing Masters. Mm -hmm. And then August 4th, we have North of 40. Um, and then August 19th, or 18th, I'm sorry, is our last concert, and that is The Legends. And we also have a car show in conjunction with that. So the car shirts show up at 5, and then the music is from 6 to 8. Any money that you do get from the selling of food and that, that helps out the organization. Yes, absolutely. I mean, we do have to pay for the musicians. Um, and then we also have a cornhole tournament at every concert in the park as well. So that's great. Um, and that also benefits assistance for recreation. And it's something else fun to do. All righty. If they want to see a whole list, don't you have them on your Facebook page? or We absolutely do. Yep. And then we have them available at our concerts. And then we have them at the post office in Beaver Meadows as well. All righty. So this is the 12th annual Concerts in the Park, sponsored by the Beaver Meadows Citizens for Recreation, kicking off on Sunday, 6 to 8 p.m. with the Irish Lads. We hope to see you there. Thank you, Lisa. I couldn't think of a creative intro for our Frankie's giveaway, but it's free pizza, so does it really need some fancy introduction? Call now to enter to win a box of 12 slices of Frankie's cold pizza with their signature sauce and cheese blend baked fresh with no preservatives. Call 570-455-7267, extension 108, and please leave your full name and phone number. We'll pick one lucky winner at random. You can only win once every 30 days on SSP TV. Time now for weather on SSP TV News. Good news coming on Friday and over the weekend. Here's our forecast from the National Weather Service. Tonight, though, 80% chance of showers and a possible thunderstorm. Some of the storms could produce gusty winds and heavy rain while the low of 58 degrees. New precipitation amounts between a quarter and half of an inch possible. And then on Friday, a chance of showers before 10 a.m. Partly sunny with a high of 71, 20% chance of precipitation. Mostly clear at night with a low of 51. Saturday looks nice, sunny with highs in the lower 70s and mostly clear at night with a low of 52, sunny with a high of 75 on Sunday, and then Sunday night partly cloudy, low of 61. Monday, a 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms, partly sunny, high of 81. And Monday night, 40% chance of showers, mostly cloudy, low of 65 degrees. Just before graduating, two Lady Cougar athletes made their college announcements at the Hazleton Area High School. Lily Nowak helped the Lady Cougar tennis team win three conference titles and one sub-regional title. She won four doubles medals, three gold and one silver, and she won three district singles silver medals. 
Nowak will continue her career at the University of Scranton. She'll talk about the challenges ahead and her major. Mackenzie Rakovich was a defender for the Hazleton girls lacrosse team. She helped that young program start to blossom. They played for a district title this year. Rakovich will attend King's College and she'll be working on becoming a physician's assistant. We'll hear about her background in the sport and the future of the Lady Cougar girls lacrosse program. I could really um, work on my game and play at a collegiate level with other players who are going to be better than me. So I'll really get to improve my game and learn a lot, especially in my freshman year and grow hopefully in the next three years. Occupational therapy, you know, I, I was really interested in the therapies and I, at the beginning I didn't know which one to pick, physical, speech therapy, or occupational therapy. So I shadowed a few people, I actually shadowed a teacher in the school district, an occupational therapist, and I really enjoyed working with the kids and I really enjoyed helping um, the others and I really want to help others. What made you really like the sport? Freshman year, um, so it was that early. It huh? was, <laughs> yes, it was very difficult for me. Um, I didn't really know how to catch or throw the ball, <laughs> so I really did improve as a player, and I grew a lot. But there's still obviously more that I can improve on, and just playing the sport and my teammates and learning all of the rules of the game, it really drew me, and I fell in love with it. Someone came to you at that first practice when you were learning and they said, you're going to go to college and do this one day. What would you have said to them? I probably would have said, I don't know about that. <laughs> you kind of grew up with the Lady Cougar program. I mean, where do you think yeah. it's at? They seem like they grew up. You guys grew up all pretty, pretty fast. It's going in a good direction? It yeah. is. It really is. We just started a feeder program. So we're going to have girls coming up that have been playing longer than I have. And our program is really growing and expanding. And I hope that they fall in love with it as much as I did. Now, how about a quick check of the SSP TV standard speaker scoreboard? Aaron Judge was 0 for 2 with a walk as the Rail Riders walked off against Norfolk 7 to 6. Bravik Valera had a double in the 10th that tied the game, and then they went on to win. The ball was fielded by Norfolk, but it ended up in the stands, and Varela scored the winning run. Coming up, a field day in the Hazleton Area School District for students with special needs and a look back at the Lady Cougar State Championship softball game. And Ron Marchetti, the master of local sports, has a trivia question and some commentary for us. Watch SSP TV in Scranton this weekend, Saturday and Sunday from 8 a.m. until noon on Comcast Channel 190. Good evening, everyone. Here's today's Talk of the Town. The benefit for Jill and the Hazleton Little League will be held this Sunday from 4 to 8 p.m. at the Hazleton Elks Lodge. The pasta dinner will be $8. Eckley Miners Village Patchtown Days Italian Fest will be held on June 22nd and 23rd at the Village. The event will run from 10 a.m. until 5 p.m. on both days. Admission will be $10 for adults, $9 for seniors, and $6 for youth. Children 3 and under are free. And the Greater Hazleton Chamber of Commerce next red carpet breakfast will be held on Wednesday, June 26th from 7.45 to 9 a.m. at the Cinnamon Draft House in West Hazleton. To register for the event, you can go to hazeltonchamber.org. And that's today's Talk of the Town. SBTV News would like to send sincere condolences to the family and friends of these recently departed. Dolores Casadas of Hazleton, Mass will be Saturday at 10 a.m. at Queen of Heaven Parish at Our Lady of Grace Church. Friends may call Saturday from 9 to 10 a.m. at the church. The Joseph A. Moran Funeral Home is in charge of arrangements. Jason F. Hernandez of McAdoo. Friends may call Saturday from 3 to 9 p.m. at the Frank J. Bonin Funeral Home. And David J. Horn of Hazleton. A service will be held Friday at 8 p.m. at the Frank J. Bonin Funeral Home. Friends may call Friday from 6 to 8 p.m. at the funeral home. Today's social and obituary report is brought to you by Harmon Funeral Homes and Crematory. Call 570-788-0977 or go to harmonfuneral.com.